Good afternoon, everybody. Jay Douglas here with you. It's time to do our predictions, weekly predictions for football. NFL Week 3 getting underway on Thursday. Patriots at Jets at AFC East Showdown. There are some weekly games in college football. We'll predict those as well. College football in Week 4. To, re to close the book on Week 2, though, in the NFL, 17-15. and 15, So we took that loss on Monday Night Football. The Eagles losing to the Falcons. A late touchdown by the Falcons. They kicked the extra point to break the tie and ultimately win. So the Eagles fall to 1-1. One one. The Falcons improve to 1-1. One one. A 6-10 first week or second week after an 11-5 opening week. So we certainly look for a better week three here. There are seven games in the early window, followed by a five-game slate in the afternoon, and then a doubleheader on Monday Night Football for the NFL this week. So let's go ahead and start predicting some of these games. I think the Jets will win. This is the first home game for them, and they're coming off a win at Tennessee. The Patriots just took a tough home loss to Seattle, so I will take the Jets. Aaron Rodgers picking up win number two. I guess I feel pretty good taking the Buccaneers and the Packers. Saint, I guess I'll go with the Saints. The Saints with that dominating performance against the Cowboys. The Eagles coming off that tough loss. I think the Saints do win. Giants and Browns, I don't know either. The Raiders, I do think, will win. The Panthers did officially bench Bryce Young. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. But the Panthers do make a quarterback change. Be interested to see what happens there. With Tua kind of being questionable, I don't know if he's going to play. I'm going to take Seattle. And they just got a big win, as we mentioned, so I think they'll take it. It's really hard to believe the Ravens could be 0-3. That is very, very hard to think about. But it's also hard to think about the Cowboys playing as bad as they did back-to-back -back weeks. That's that's very hard to, to kind of put into perspective there. And I, I don't really give the Chiefs... I don't really give them the game here. I mean, the Chiefs have struggled the past two weeks, and the Falcons coming off that emotional win, I don't I don't really give the Chiefs that game. I, I will give the Bills this one, and I do think the Bengals find a way to get a win in the on their resume. They're 0-2. I do think they find a win. Now, the Commanders, they kicked a the last-second field goal against New York, but I think the Bengals do find a way to get it done at home as well. If I take the Steelers... I mean, the Vikings, they played very well against the Niners. The Texans have not looked all that great. We're going to take the Lions and the Niners. I guess we're going to talk ourselves into taking the Browns. I think we are we are going to take the Cowboys. As much as it pains me, I think we do take the boys there, which means we do take the Falcons. I guess we'll split it. The Steelers, they haven't played at home yet, I don't think. This is their first home game. So I think I'm going to, I'm gonna with them being that first home game, I think I'm going to take them, which means I'll take the Texans. I'm going to go with the Colts. So I think that's everybody that we got. So let's go ahead and grab some college football predictions. As you can see, we already predicted some non-conference games on this first page. Ohio State, Iowa State, Penn State, Notre Dame, Miami, Texas A&M, Ole Miss, Texas, Kentucky, South Carolina, all getting non-conference wins. I do think Nebraska will beat Illinois. I feel good about that one. Look at this, guys. Northern Illinois ranked. Now, a lot of that is because they upset Notre Dame, but they are ranked, and I do think they will beat their conference opponent, Buffalo. Missouri, I think, does beat Vanderbilt. I think I'm going to go Utah. I think I'm going to go Tennessee and K-State. I'm going to call the Georgia Tech upset over Louisville. So we're going to take Clemson, I think. I, I think I'm going to go with that. And yeah, we'll, we'll split. We'll go LSU and we'll go USC. Florida with Miss. I know Florida's bad, but with Mississippi State looking, I guess, worse against Toledo, I'm going to say Florida gets that win. I don't know. Arkansas did not look great against UAB. It is Hank Brown's first conference start, but it's at home. If it was in Arkansas, I probably would take Arkansas. But I think, I think I'm going to believe in my Tigers 
and I'm going to say they do pick up their first conference win of the season. Looking at some non-conference games here on the second page, Pitt will get a win over Youngstown State. Duke will beat Middle Tennessee. Indiana over Charlotte. Maryland over Villanova. So I think because this is a East Coast, West Coast swing, I think I'm going to say Stanford does beat Syracuse. Now, part of me thinks that James Madison and Coastal Carolina will both put up fights against these ACC opponents. I am going to take Virginia Tech. I will take TCU. I think I'm going to take Boston College and Cal, I will call. Even though I do, I, I probably think, I mean, Florida State, this is as much a winnable game as possible. So I guess we're going, I have actually more faith in Coastal Carolina beating Virginia than James Madison beating North Carolina. I think Virginia actually ended up winning last week, so actually probably scratch that. We'll go, we'll, we'll pick the, we won't call any upsets here. We'll go ahead and pick the power five or power four over that. Iowa will beat Minnesota and Oregon State, I think, will beat Purdue. Even though Oregon State got killed last week, it's a home game for them, which means I think Washington bounces back to beat Northwestern after they lost the Apple Cup last week. I think that Texas Tech will beat Arizona State. I'm still not 100% sold on Colorado. I know they beat Colorado State last week, but I think I'm going to take Baylor in this one, which means Kansas did lose to UNLV. They have to go on the road. West Virginia, a very tough loss against Pitt, which they have to come home now. So I am going to take... West Virginia, them returning home after that tough loss. And then Cincinnati, I think, will beat Houston. And then we have Washington State against San Jose State. I think Washington State will end up winning. And I think the military schools are going to split. Air Force is on the bye this week. But I think Army does beat Rice. And I will take Memphis over Navy. So that's going to do it, folks. Let me know who you're predicting in the NFL and in college football. So let me know who you're rolling with. Let me know if you agree with my picks. Let me know what's going to well, you're looking forward to the most as we enter this week of football. Make sure you guys like and comment on this podcast. If you have not done so already, go back and like and comment on our previous podcast. Please subscribe to the channel if you're a new listener. We appreciate you finding us. We appreciate it so much. If you're a returning user, thank you for your continued viewership. We certainly do appreciate that. But whether you're new or returning, Please tell your friends and family about the podcast. Let them know what we offer. Spread the word so we continue to so we can continue to grow. Once you subscribe to the channel, please turn your push notifications on. You'll be notified anytime we put out new content. That's going to do it for content for this week. Again, next week, it'll either be Major League Baseball or the WNBA. And I'm actually leaning towards the WNBA because I think their playoffs are going to start sooner. That means the week of September 30th, we'll do a baseball podcast because the playoffs, I think, will be clinched by then. So have a fantastic rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your football Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. God bless you all, folks. But don't worry. There's plenty more content to come your way very soon. Stay tuned for more.